In this video, I want to show you Marina's latest product, the Snowflake Generator. Now, there are two versions of this product, the Pro and the Basic. And as we get into showing you the features, I'll let you know the difference between the two. So the first thing is first is this is an online app or website. So this means regardless if you're on Linux, Mac, Windows, on your iPad, etc., you'll be able to use this. And then so what you do, once you've registered and you've logged in, all you do is click generate at the top here and it'll take you to a page like this. Now down the right hand side, we have our various options. So we can create a square, a triangle, a hexagon, or a circular maze. And then we can adjust our sizes like so on all of them. Like so. After this is our seed. Now, uh, normally you'd want this left as is, random, but you can type in a number to get a particular seed of maze. After this are our options to instantly generate the maze, or if you want to show the steps of the maze being built. So instant maze is obviously just like that. And then if I show you the algorithm steps, you can see the algorithm working to create our maze in front of us. Click back again. After this, we have the options to choose our entrances. So we can have no entrance or exit. We can choose our bottom to top. So bottom, uh, top and bottom. We've got our left to right. So enter on the left, exit on the right. And then we have an option to generate the hardest entrance and exit. So this means the entry point or the exit point could be anywhere on this maze. And by selecting this option, what it will try to do is give you the longest and the hardest path in the maze that you generate. So if I show you that, I'll quickly show you the solution. So it starts up here and exits on the right here. And what it does is tries to make that as long as possible. Now, after this, we can choose various different maze algorithms. Now, I won't go into detail um, on each one here, um, but basically it's how each maze is constructed and you will get different results in different ones. So I do recommend you look up different algorithms to find one that you're uh, most happy with. Now after this is our option to create a mask. Now this is a pro only feature. The basic uh, version doesn't have this feature. And what this enables us to do, if I click create mask, is we can define a mask by selecting cells on the grid. And these cells won't be included in our maze. So for example, you could block out like so. Up here. And then save mask and exit and we have the letter L and again you click new maze here it will generate a maze for us like so if we click back and if you have a particular mask um, or model that you create like this you can save this here like so and then this will be saved in your account. So every one that you create and you save, you'll be, be able to easily access by just scrolling down and clicking on it and it will load up like so. Now included 
are various different snowflake um, modules. So if I load one up here, now these are various different styles and sizes of snowflakes. With the program, everything you create in here, so your mazes and your masks, you have full commercial rights for. These snowflake ones, you have um, publishing rights for, but you must include copyright notice in um, your book, which is mentioned here, like so. And you must include saying Snowflake Maze Design by Marina Art Design. Now this is only for the Snowflake Mazes. Any other ones that you create, including your own custom masks, you do not need to do this. And so what we can do now is if we go back up here, and so if you've created a mask, I'll just show you quickly, and you want to go back to creating a square maze, just go to edit mask, clear mask, save mask and exit, and then we're back to where we was before. So now if I just create a larger, ma um, larger maze here, it's 20 by 20, let's do the hardest entrance and exit, great, let's get new maze. Now, what we can do is show our solution here. So as we can see, it's uh, quite windy. And we have the option here, we can choose our solution color. Now you can choose absolutely any color you want on the color picker, or you can enter the RGB values here, HSL or hex, like so. And the same applies for our wall color here. Again, choose any color you like. And of course, the RGB, HSL and hex colors. Our final option here is our distance map. Now this shows the uh, difficulty of how hard each cell is to reach from your start point. So obviously over here, it's green. And then as we go over, we go into a yellow, orange, and finally at the end, it is in red. So now to generate or to download your mazes, what you want to do is make sure um, show solution is unticked first. And in here, type in how many mazes you want. Say for example, 10, click download and they will download below. And then for the solutions, what you need to do is click show solution and then hit download again without touching anything else. And then you've got the 10 mazes and the 10 solutions for each one. We go into our download, you see we've got our SVGs here. So for example, go into this one, our first one here, and then we load the solution for that one, which will be the first one here. And we've got our maze and our maze solution. Now, this exports in SVG, which is, of course is vector, which is great because it means you can scale to any size without any loss of quality. And if you can, of course, use other programs to convert the, your vector files, your SVG files into various other formats such as PNG, JPEG, uh, JPEG, etc. Now, I hope this quick overview of um, Marina's latest product, the Snowflake Generator, helps you understand a little bit about it and how easy it is to watch. Um, how easy it is to use, sorry. And at the moment, until I think five days time, she has a special offer on it. So if you are interested, do take advantage of that. And once again, thank you for watching.